What was it like playing defense behind Nestor Cortez this afternoon? It was fun. I mean, uh, you know, I feel like I can barely even get to the from the dugout to the field in time. He's ready to go. You know, that was that was fun. It was it almost reminded me of a former teammate of mine, Mark Burley. You know, just getting it going, changing speeds, getting ground balls, action early, and uh, you know, he he forced he forced them to start swinging the bat. And, uh, you know, we were making some plays behind him, which was nice. At what point in time did you know, hey, he has his best stuff again, he's going to be able to get deep into this game? I mean, early on. I mean, you could kind of see it in his body language and how he was going about it. You know, you could tell he was feeling it. He wasn't taking any breaks in, bet in between. There was no indecision. He was, you know, <clears throat> him and Trevor, they were right on the same page, it seemed like, all day long. Josh, as a hitter, what would you hate to face about facing Cortez? Yeah, I mean, he... Uh, just that, you know, he's forcing you from pitch one to get in there, be ready to hit. A, he's got a change of speed. He's got uh, movement to both sides. Uh, he's got some deception with the heater that really gets on guys. Um, and, you know, he, he really keeps the pressure on you as a, as a hitter. He kind of emerged last year, but seeing him up close, is there anything that stands out to you more? I remember facing him last year. I mean, it was what I just described. That's what I felt. You know, I felt like he was he was ready to go. He wasn't, you know, afraid of anybody that was in the box. He was, you know, throwing strikes, sinking it, cutting it, changing it up, elevating the heater, just doing a lot of, you know, really good things. And then he'll hit you with a hezzy every now and again, um, which, uh, you know, it's tough. It's a tough about.